All right, this is a January fifteenth evening devotional. Sorry, guys, I didn't I wasn't able to get to a morning one or the evening one last night. But anyways, this is a <laughs> January fifteenth, two thousand twelve evening devotional from Psalms one hundred nine, chapter one hundred nine, verse four. For my love, there are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. But I give myself unto prayer. Lying tongues were busy against the reputation of David. But he did not defend himself. He moved the case into a higher court. And pleaded before the great king himself. Prayer is the safest method of replying to words of hatred. The psalmist prayed in no cold-hearted manner. He gave himself to the exercise through his whole soul and heart into it, straining every snow, sinew and muscle. As Jacob did when wrestling with the angel, thus and thus only shall any of us speed at the throne of grace. As a shadow has no power because there is no substance in it. Even so, that supplication in which a man's proper self is not thoroughly pre present in agonizing earnestness and vehement desire is utterly ineffectual. For it lacks that which would give it force. Fervent prayer, says an old divine, like a cannon planted at the gates of heaven makes them fly open. The common fault with the most of us is our readiness to yield to distractions. Our thoughts go roving hither and thither. And we make little progress towards our desired end. Like quicksilver, our mind will not hold together, but rolls off this way and that. How great an evil this is, it injures us, and what is worse, it insults our Elohim. What should we think of a petitioner, if, while having an audience with a prince, he should be playing with a feather or catching a fly? Continuance and perseverance are intended in the expression of our text. David did not cry once, and then relapse into silence. His holy clamor was continued till it brought down the blessing. Prayer must not be our chance work, but our daily business, our habit and vocation. As artists give themselves to their models, and poets to their classical pursuits, so must we addict ourselves to prayer. We must be immersed in prayer as in our element, and so pray without ceasing. Lord, teach us so to pray that we may be more and more prevalent in supplication. You guys take care. Have a blessed evening. And look forward to the morning of January 16th. I have another devotional up. God bless, guys. Bye-bye.